Jean Frederic Joliot Curie, French, F -E D -E, IC, Leo Kentucky, I, the 19th of March 1900 to the 14th of August 1958, born Jean Frederic Joliot, was a French physicist, husband of Irene Joliot Curie, with whom he was jointly awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> Topic: <inaudible> Early years. Born in Paris, France, he was a graduate of the École Supérieure de Physique et de Chimie Industrielles de la Ville de Paris. In 1925 he became an assistant to Marie Curie, at the Radium Institute. He fell in love with her daughter Irene Curie, and soon after their marriage in 1926 they both changed their surnames to Joliot Curie. At the insistence of Marie, Joliot Curie obtained a second baccalaureate, a bachelor's degree, and a doctorate in science, doing his thesis on the electrochemistry of radio elements. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Career. While a lecturer at the Paris Faculty of Science, he collaborated with his wife on research on the structure of the atom, in particular on the projection, or recoil, of nuclei that had been struck by other particles, which was an essential step in the discovery of the neutron by Chadwick in 1932. In 1935 they were awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for their discovery of artificial radioactivity. Resulting from the creation of short-lived radioisotopes from the bombardment of stable nuclides such as boron, magnesium, and aluminium with alpha particles. In 1937 he left the Radium Institute to become a professor at the Collège de France working on chain reactions and the requirements for the successful construction of a nuclear reactor that uses controlled nuclear fission to generate energy through the use of uranium and heavy water. Joliot Curie was one of the scientists mentioned in Albert Einstein's letter to President Roosevelt as one of the leading scientists on the course to chain reactions. The Second World War, however, largely stalled Joliot's research, as did his subsequent post-war administrative duties. At the time of the Nazi invasion in 1940, Joliot Curie managed to smuggle his working documents and materials to England with Hans von Halben, Moshe Feldenkrais and Lou Kowarski. During the French occupation he took an active part in the French resistance as a member of the National Front. Collins and Lapierre in their book Is Paris Burning? Note that during the Paris Uprising in August 1944 he served in the Prefecture of Police Manufacturing for his fellow insurgents Molotov cocktails, the resistance's principal weapon against German tanks. The prefecture was the scene of some of the most intense fighting during the uprising. Post -war. After the liberation of France, he served as director of the French National Centre for Scientific Research, and appointed by Charles de Gaulle in 1945, he became France's first High Commissioner for Atomic Energy. In 1944 French physicists, Pierre Auger and Jules Guerin were working on the British nuclear weapons research programme at Chalk River in Canada. As France was being liberated by the Normandy invasion, they returned to France to inform Frédéric Joliot Curie of the progress of the American, British nuclear weapon program. Frédéric passed on that information to his Soviet friends. In 1948 he oversaw the construction of the first French atomic reactor. A devoted communist, he was purged in 1950 and relieved of most of his duties, but retained his professorship at the Collège de France. Joliot Curie was one of the eleven signatories to the Russell Einstein Manifesto in 1955. On the death of his wife in 1956, he took over her position as chair of nuclear physics at the Sorbonne. Joliot Curie was a member of the French Academy of Sciences and of the Academy of Medicine and named a commander of the Legion of Honor. He was awarded the Stalin Peace Prize in 1951 for his work as president of the World Council of Peace. Topic honors and awards The crater Joliot on the Moon is named after him. He was elected a foreign member of the Royal Society in 1946. He was the recipient of the first Stalin Peace Prize, given in 1951. A street in Sofia, Bulgaria, and the nearby Joliot Curie metro station are named after Frederic Joliot Curie. Other streets bearing his name can be found in the Rivière des Prairies borough of North Montreal, Canada, in Bucharest, Targu Muresh, and Cluj-Napoca, Romania, in Warsaw and Wrocław, Poland, and in Poprad, Slovakia. 
Joliot Curie appeared as himself in Campen Homme Tunktvanet La Bataille de l'eau Lord in French, 1948, a French-Norwegian semi-documentary film about sabotage of the Vemork heavy water plant in Norway during World War II. His assistants Hans Halbin and Lev Kovarski also appear. Joliot Curie is shown lecturing about nuclear fission and chain reaction at the Collège de France. Topic personal life Frederick and Irene hyphenated their surnames to Joliot Curie after they married on October 4, 1926 in Paris, France, although their daughter has said, many people used to name my parents Joliot Curie, but they signed their scientific papers Irene Curie and Frederick Joliot. Joliot Curie's daughter, Hélène Langevin Joliot, was born in 1927. She is a nuclear physicist and professor at the University of Paris. Her brother, Pierre Joliot, was born in 1932. He is a biochemist at the Centre National de la Recherche Scientifique. Frédéric Joliot Curie devoted the last years of his life to the creation of a centre for nuclear physics at Orsay, where his children were educated. Topic references Topic External links Bicard, Pierre 1966. Joliot Curie, The Man and His Theories. New York, Paul S. Erickson. Nobel Foundation Biography Atomic Archive Biography Conference December 1935 for the Nobel Prize of F and I Joliot Curie online and analyzed on Bibnum click a telecharger for English version Pinault Michel 2000 Frederick Joliot Curie Paris Odile Jacob ISBN 2-7381-0812-1 Bicard Pierre 1961 Frederick Joliot Curie et l'énergie atomique Paris, Segers. ISBN 2747543110. Bicard, Pierre. 1961. Frederick Joliot Curie in the 20th Century Press Archives of the German National Library of Economics.